This baby doll belonged to Edith Rothschild, who was born in Frankfurt in 1925. It looks very similar to other dolls and other toys that children would have had in the 1930s, but this particular doll made a special journey. On the 11th of May 1939, 14-year-old Edith came to Britain on the Kinder Transport, carrying the doll with her in her luggage. She had to smuggle the doll with her because her mother thought she was too old for dolls. If you look at the doll closely, you see that it's very small. It fits in a hand. This made it easier for Edith to carry it secretly with her. In 1933, Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party came to power in Germany and from the start openly persecuted and discriminated against Jews. On the 9th of November 1938, the Nazis organized a violent attack against Jews and Jewish property across Germany, Austria and occupied Czechoslovakia, known as Kristallnacht, the Night of Broken Glass. Kristallnacht marked a turning point. Many Jews were now desperate to leave. After Kristallnacht, the British government relaxed the immigration laws for Jewish and other non-Aryan children from Austria and Germany. This rescue mission became known as the Kindertransport. Between December 1938 and September 1939, nearly 10,000 Jewish refugee children were admitted to Britain. On arrival in Britain, Edith stayed with a foster family in Cambridge. Her sister, who had arrived a couple of months earlier on a separate kinder transport, also lived with a family in town. In 1941, Edith went to London to stay with her aunt. Finally, two years later in 1943, she was able to be reunited with her father, who had been imprisoned in a German concentration camp. Sadly, her mother Martha was unable to get out of Germany, and she did not survive the war. If you look closely at the doll, you can see that the head is scratched, that the clothes are very worn, and that the doll is missing a sock. She must have been very loved. The children on the kinder transport were only allowed to bring one suitcase with them for everything. The Jewish Museum holds two more items that Edith brought with her on the kinder transport. One is a calendar for 1939 and the pendant in the shape of a Star of David that she received from the rabbi at her local synagogue. These items must have been amongst Edith's most precious belongings.